A special ceremony, Madeline, has been held. That's right. We're here at Georgia Southwestern State University. It's a place that Mrs. Carter was proud to have graduated from, and administrators here were happy to honor the First Lady and the Carter family. They set these wreaths over here by her statue that was erected so that her presence can always be here on campus. Flowers for a woman whose beauty reflects in her name and her legacy. Every chance she had to serve, she was doing that. Um, but it was never in a way that made you feel that you were near a celebrity or someone uh, so notable. Rosalind Carter's alma mater paying tribute to the former first lady and her family with a wreath laying ceremony just outside of the Rosalind Carter Health and Human Sciences Complex. While former President Jimmy Carter did not come to the ceremony, the couple's four children attended. It's a big loss for the institution because she loved this place so much. Uh, she dedicated uh, a lot of her time and energy to the to, to being here and to making sure that this campus continued to provide the opportunities for other students that it provided for her. Mrs. Carter's legacy carries on through the Rosalind Carter Institute for Caregivers. We have training and education programs for caregivers, uh, especially a focus on things like problem solving and how to build a care team. And through the university she proudly graduated from. It's wondrous. It's great. I mean, Obviously, her legacy is still here. It's still living. It's breathing. It's in within all of us. No matter where you come from, you can come from a really small town in southwest Georgia, but you can you can go anywhere and be really impactful in the world. This is one of several memorial events that will be going on for the next three days with the final funeral happening on Wednesday that's going to be private in Plains. And of course, we will be following every step of the way. We'll keep you updated on Atlanta News First and through our app. Reporting live in America, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. Madeline.